We're going to take a look at three word problems in this video. Each one gets a little bit more complicated, so it's a good idea to follow each one and it, it will build on the previous one. Um, first, we're going to find out how long one, the length of a runway or the length of a rectangle. Um, then we're going to look at um, a triangle and we've got to find the measure of each angle. And then finally, uh, we'll be comparing a triangle to a square and trying to find the side of the triangle. And this is the uh, most challenging of the three, I would say. All right, um, we're looking at an airport in sh uh, with a runway the shape of a rectangle. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and draw the rectangle. And they tell us that it's, whoops, excuse me there, 110 feet wide. And we don't know how long it is, so we'll just call that x for some number of feet. And let's see, the area, right here, the area is 1 million, all that. So this isn't mathematically precise, but I'm just going to say that is equal to 1,327,700 and this is square feet. Um, these units are going to take care of themselves throughout the problem so I'm not really going to keep writing them and having to keep up with them. Okay, I'm working in feet and that's understood. We need to refer to the formula. Somehow I've got to find this length and we'll need the formula. Usually we say for a rectangle area is equal to length times width but since I have my length and width over here I'm gonna say length times width is equal to area because that's my area. Alright now let's see where we stand. The length is X and the width is 110 but usually we write 110 X we usually have the coefficient in front of the variable. So I'm going to say 110x is equal to all that. Okay, and now we need x by itself. And then slide this up a little. So we need to get rid of that 110. It's held by multiplication. We'll use the opposite operation to get rid of it. As usual, the left side, or this side, cleans up very quickly. 110 goes into 110 once. So we have 1x equals, and um, I can get rid of a 0 and a 0, dividing by 10, numerator and denominator. Um, so I need 11 into all of that. So let's slide this over a little. Well, slide it up some. Um, so I've got I should not have put that comma there. I should not have put that zero there. Oh yeah, no, the zero belongs, but I have a comma in the wrong place. So there, I just undid what I've done. And I'm trying to divide, it's confusing with the commas in there now, um, but I'm trying to divide 11 into the numerator. Goes into 13 once. Goes into 22 twice. Zoom out a little bit. And I'll bring down my next digit with is a 7, which is a 7. 11 goes into 7 zero times. Bring down the next digit, 7 again. 11 goes into 77, seven times. And I have to bring down this last digit, okay? 11 goes into 0, zero times. So I ended up with 12,070. And this is feet. So that's how long our runway is. We could check it. I'm not going to take time to do that now. 
Let's look at the next word problem. Um, okay, so we have an isosceles triangle. Um, two angles are the same measure. So let's get our, well, I'll give you a chance to read. You can pause the video and read it, but I need a lot of space here. I'm going to zoom out initially. So let's see if we can fit our triangle on the screen. Uh, that'll work. Don't worry about the dimensions. Usually I'd make it a little bit larger, but I'm trying to fit it on the screen with everything there. Um, so we're, we're measuring the angles. Um, let me see. Two angles have the same measure, and the third angle is described in terms of these two. So actually each angle is described in terms of the other. So I'm going to use the same variable in each case. And there's a little bit more going on, um, 35 more than three times the measure of the other two. But so far I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'll get those numbers in there in just a second. And let's see, I'm trying to say that the sum of these angles, well, I know the sum of these angles is equal to 180. I should have said that 180 degrees, but I can't really put my equal sign in yet. Um, I haven't described these angles correctly, so I'm going to take another run at it. Time for another triangle, and we'll zoom out a bit. So this one, I'll get my equal sign in there. All right, so I'm happy with, well, I didn't really like that blue. Let's use this color, a little finer point. There's an X, an X. I want to put an X here. but I know that I need some room. Um, so we've got the, the measure of the third angle is 35 degrees more. I should have a little degrees in there, sorry. Um, all right, so 35 degrees more, I'll represent that with a plus 35 and Thirty-five degrees more than three times the measure of the other two. The other two are described as x, so I need three x plus thirty-five. All right, and we're going to zoom in on that. And now I can say that the sum of these three is going to equal one hundred eighty, because I've described them accurately. And I'm going to zoom in and solve this from here. Okay. Basically, I've written what I need for an algebraic equation. So we'll solve that here. If I have x, I think I'll try a little bit of color on this. So here's an x. I'm going to add that. to an x, and I'll add that to all of this. Okay, so that's 3x plus 35, and finally this is equal to 180. All right, and now once we solve for x, we'll be able to plug it back in and figure out the measure of each angle. Um, let's combine like terms. So that's 1x, 2x, 3, well, there's a 1 in front of each x, right? Put that there. So I have 5x 
plus 35. And we want to get rid of that 35. So we have 5x Hundred forty five degrees, and let's get rid of our five. Five goes into five once, and we now know that X is equal to um, twice twenty nine. All right, so it's actually twenty nine degrees. All right, we're not quite finished yet, though, because let's. I think I'll slide this down and see what they're really asking for. I guess I'll have to zoom out a little bit. Find the measure of each angle. All right. Well, we know that x is 29. I guess I can move in a little bit. So we have to plug 29 wherever there's an x. So this first angle is just going to be 29 degrees. Nothing's going to happen. 29 degrees. But here we have to plug in at 29 right where the x is. Okay. So we end up with 3 times right where the x is. We have 29 then plus 35. Okay. Um, that was 30, it'd be 90, so this is 87 plus 35, and it's never simple, is it? Um, I'll do that right here. Twelve. So that's 122 degrees. That degrees looks like a zero. I don't want that. This is a degrees sign. So we'll just go without it. Um, so that's 122 degrees for this angle. All right. So we have all three angles. If we add them together, we'll get 180. Now we'll take a look at our last word problem. And I think this is the most challenging of the three that we're faced with. All right, I'm going to go through this in several steps. Um, so you have a chance to read it here. I'm going to zoom out some so I have some room to write. We're comparing a triangle to a square. So I'm going to try just drawing my pictures here. There's a triangle. Here's a square. And I'd like to put in an equal sign, but we're not quite there yet. Um, and then let's see what we've got here. Perimeter, eight more than the perimeter of the square. The side is five inches longer than the side. You know what, the, um, the perimeter is going to be a little bit more involved to calculate because for the triangle we'll have to add together the three sides. For the square we would have to add together the four or we could multiply, which is what we'll do. Um, but let's focus on the side of the triangle. It's five inches longer. Um, so I'd like to put in just an X here and an X here. But if I use an X here and an X here, they're supposed to be the same length. And the side of the triangle is five inches longer. So because of that, I have to indicate that this is five inches longer. Now I can say 
that my x's are the same because this side I'm going to add 5 to it. For instance, let's just say we solve the problem and we figure out that um, the length of this side is 12 inches, then the length of this side would be 17. The length of the side of the triangle is 5 inches longer. Okay, we've represented that. Um, now we're going to be trying to look at the perimeter. So for perimeter, I'll need an x on each side. All right. And in this case, I would have, I could add them all up, but an easier way to write that is just zoom out. Alright, so for the perimeter, I'm just going to write 4x, and here we have x plus 5, x plus 5, x plus 5, right? So I'm going to say, instead of adding that three times, I'll just say 3 times x plus 5. I want to put an equal sign between these, but I really can't do that yet. Uh, we're going to have to look at something else going on in here. In each case, I'm basically trying to describe the perimeter of the triangle of the square. Um, the perimeter of the triangle is 8 inches more than the perimeter of the square. If the, this this describes my perimeter. If this, <coughs> excuse me, is eight inches more than this, which describes the perimeter of the square, and I want to put an equal sign, I have to balance this. So if this is eight inches too many, I'm going to have to tack on eight inches over here, and now they'll be balanced. And now I can say that they are, in fact, equal. Okay. What I've written for this expression is going to be the same amount as what I've written for that expression. Okay. And now we basically just solve the algebraic equation. So I'm going to focus on the algebra and zoom in some. Okay. So we'll go ahead. Uh, first off, we have to distribute 3 to each term. So that gives us 3x plus 15. And over here, we'll just bring down our 4x plus 8. Um, at this point, I could do, I can get rid of 3x, 15, 4x, or 8, but I'm going to choose to get rid of the 3x because that way I'll end up with a positive x value. If I get rid of 4x, I'll have to deal with a negative. Um, so let's get rid of 3x, get rid of 3x, see where we stand here. We have 15, and this is just 1x plus 8. Slide this up some. Let's get rid of that 8. leaves us with a 7 and an x. So if they'd asked for the side of the square instead of the triangle, a side of the square is 7, right? But the side of the triangle, I have to plug in a 7 right where the x is, and what comes out? A 12, okay? So each side of this triangle is 12, and that is the answer.